Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here of Slime and Slay Outdoors. It is it. We are back, back at the house. We just cleaned the boat out, took all the batteries out. It is October 17th, and um, I'm bummed to say that this was my last hoorah for musky fishing. We got out the last couple days, had some fish action, nothing to me to put together a little short clip or anything like that, but uh, we had action. And uh, this time of the year, I love to get out and grouse hunt. Deer hunt is coming right now, the bow hunt, the rut. So we don't, I don't really take advantage of the late fall musky fishing with suckers, all that stuff. We're kind of right in that turnover period. So it's probably not the best time right now anyways, but uh, I thought why not do a little recap here of some of the lures that I caught some fish on during the, during the year. Um, I get a lot of questions, uh, what kind of lures I like to throw, what kind of lures I use. Um, I have a multiple variety of lures out there, but I like to use the lure that is catching the fish. If you can find that, obviously that's the one I want to have on my on my rod or my line. So, but we're going to recap with some of the, the few lures that I had this year that brought me the most success in my boat. And uh, starting out, number one, um, I, I'm going to kind of work myself down. Uh, it's not really any order, but... Uh, Number one lure, because it caught my biggest muskie of the year, was exactly this color. But we had action on other ones, uh, and other colors as well. But this was the one that I caught uh, my 46 incher on, which was my big fish of the year, was the old bobby bait right here. So um, I'll roll some clips here coming up on all these lures that I had action on. Just a, just real short clips of some of the fish that I caught on them. But uh, bobby bait definitely got the job done for me this year. Standard classic musky bait out on the market like that and you'll notice that I focus a lot on the brighter colors up here in the north woods uh, a lot of dark stained water I fish so I like to focus a little bit brighter and I love that chartreuse green color up here um, got the job done so let's roll the clip and then we'll roll into the second bait Got him. Good fish. Good fish. No, he's only got the front hook hook. <sighs> Stay pin. No, it's a good fish. I got him. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, guys. Not a giant, giant, but that's a good one. Fat, chunky fish on a bobby. Oh my gosh, am I shaking. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, definitely got the job done for me this year, but number two, probably that caught the most fish for me, and I'm obsessed throwing these anyways, is a top water. But uh, this one in particular, Chaos Tackle, Big Mama, Little Twisted Sister, and as you can tell, man oh man, she has got a, not a lot of paint left on her. She went through the war this year and got the job done for me. Definitely some September to even October. We had some great success on this lure. Obviously, June, July always is a great month, but that September when they roll shallow, I love to throw top water. Um, that's kind of all my videos were about in September was top water and was with this lure. This lure was hot and I stuck with it. Um, yeah, we'll roll some of the clips here, but you. But top water is always a must have in my tackle box. And of course it reached into my top baits of the year. So let's roll some top water clips. Got him. That 
was sweet. I got it. Yes. Musky in the bag. Wow, did I really force that one in? Woo hoo hoo. Musky in the bag. Of course, I'm going to have company come and join me. Sweetness sucked in the old top water. Good one, good one. Oh wow. Um, definitely been a top water bite. This top water has been smoking hot for me this year. Chaos tackle, little twisted sister. What a fight though. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that again. Top water is my favorite. Um, coming in number three. I do love throwing these as well, but got the job done again this year for me is rubber. Um, this was the rubber that I had the best luck on this year was the regular size Medusa. Nothing huge. I see a lot of other guys having action on big rubber this year. For me, it was just regular style. I lost fish on uh, actually a, um, a husky style Medusa today, but uh, that got the job done for me was the regular style and hopefully the little hole can show. This is the shallow running Medusa and um, actually Cisco color here. We definitely had action on other ones, but uh, had a lot of fouls. Good at locating fish as well, even if you can't, but uh, it seemed like this was again a top producer for me this year. Definitely got the job done. I know I caught one on this one. Definitely had action on other ones, lost fish on other ones, but this was the one that I know I caught one on. So let's roll the clip. Oh my gosh. Awesome fight on a Medusa. Good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stay pigging girl. Oh, she hammered it. Oh no. I got her. Oh, oh no. Got it hooked up on a cleat. Look at that. Muskie in the bag, baby, on a Medusa. Cool. Wow, that got, I think she just popped off too. She might just have the one hook in her. All right, I'm gonna get her out quick. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And of course, how do you not have a video in your top producer again every year? I don't know how anybody would not have this in their choice. That's why I left it last, uh, because it's kind of boring, but um, of course is a bucktail. And, um, but one thing that's kind of particular about this bucktail is that it's not big, not not you know, not got the big blades. Where's the tinsel? Well, guess what? This was my top producing bucktail of the year. Um, actually, I had obviously again multiple colors, but I know this one got a 44 and a half for me this year. Um, definitely all mangled up. But uh, single flute at number eight deer hair. Who throws that anymore? Come on! And um, everyone up here is throwing. I, I I love kind of going around and watching other people fish, and there'll be double blades with tinsel and uh, that's probably some of the reason maybe I had success on the single fluted eight. I threw a lot of cowgirl, threw a lot of uh, even double number eights. The show, I, I think those are called showgirls. I make all mine but uh, wasn't as good as the single fluted number eight. Even into September I was having action still on the smaller size bucktails. I don't know what it was this year. I had action last year on bigger blades. This year it seemed to be smaller. When you start noticing a pattern like that I mean 
don't don't not throw I guess big blades and all that kind of stuff but if you're having a lot of action on smaller bucktails kind of is a trend that I notice all year so maybe stick with it but uh, of course bucktail is on my list because it always is I think it's probably one of the top producing lures everyone has every year so We'll roll some clips here, but Bucktail makes it in at my last lure for my most successful um, lures that I had, or most successful catches I had this year was on the Bucktail. Good busky. Gosh dang it, my battery was getting really low, the bait just popped out, and uh, we scored here. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, it was kind of quick, showed some old clips and stuff like that, but I thought why not again recap on my top producing lures, I love throwing a bunch of other lures, um, I got tons of different top waters, tons of different uh, style jerk baits but again a lot of these baits that I had here didn't break the bank that was a big thing so hopefully you guys check these lures out um, again I had success on them this year so there always are a uh, you know these lures are always going to be successful every year but uh, this year these were my top four you know some years you'll be having crank baits and and different style baits but this was mine seemed like this year I focused a lot on shallow water so all these lures that I had were super shallow so focused a lot on flowages focused a lot on rivers and um, these were the lures that I caught a lot of fish on this year so, so hopefully you guys give it a like and uh, hopefully you guys are still having some success out on the water I wish I was out there enjoying it but I'm unfortunately gonna go grab my bow and go sit in the woods and enjoy some deer hunt here hopefully I can get some deer on camera as well but uh, again give it a like subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure of Slime and Slay Outdoors.